Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hey, Cap, calling you from Lancaster, California. Here's my situation. I loathe living in California, and I hate the people in this state. I have more in common with the people out of state. Everyone in this state is either from commie leftist paradise, Mexican, or a blown-out drug addict with a hint of douchebag attached to the personalities. I work two shit jobs at Walmart and Burger King. I average around $1,600 to $1,450 a month. Uh, what is that? Uh, you're, what, 22, 20... Oh, what's what's two? Two is twenty-four. You're not making shit. Wait, hang on, Claire. You could do the math. What the hell? Two times tw twenty-four. So you're in between twelve. You're like yeah, twenty. Like I said before. All right. I've been going to school for welding and automotive repair for the past two semesters at school. My financial situation is actually pretty good. I have about two grand, and I'm able to save up about seven to eight hundred a month because I thought it was stupid to pay six hundred dollars a month to live in a studio apartment around crap neighborhoods and shit people. So I've been living in a van I bought since last about June of last. Look at you! There you go. There's the minimalist lifestyle right there. <clears throat> I would have more money saved, but I've been on a gun buying spree. Dude, what are you buying guns? What are you buying guns for? Just get one. You have you have your van to protect. That's it. You don't need an AR-15. You don't need. You're not gonna hunt deer. You just need one. So stop that shit right there. Since I've been banking my excess money, here's what I need advice on. I've been looking into transferring to the west side of Vegas uh, through my Walmart job. Since I've heard that's where all the rich people in Vegas live, so I figured that would be a better place to find a few better jobs than to eventually quit Walmart. Been there almost three years, and I don't want to make it a fourth year of employment on that job. I also want to finish school in Vegas, and maybe try to join the Iron Workers Union Lodge in Vegas. I think you mentioned spending a lot of time in Las Vegas. I have. And I was wondering if you could give me some advice on how certain things are as such. How are the community colleges there? I want to finish school in Vegas. Dude, it all depends. I mean, there's fly-by-night bullshit schools, and then there's the accredited ones. So uh, what I would do, find out where your, your credits transfer is one thing, but go to the Department of Education. They have a website that is that lists all the accredited uh, colleges and institutions. Usually the way you could tell is that they're part of the University of Nevada system. So University of Nevada Summerlin campus. I don't know if there's a Summerlin campus, but let's just say there was. So that's your job. Don't go to them and ask them if they're accredited. They always say they're accredited. You go to the university, uh, I'm sorry, you go to the Department of Education, you look up list of it. You could Google search it. It's there. <coughs> I think I even have it in my book, Worthless. And you find out if it's accredited. Another thing you could do is call the union in Las Vegas. Say, hey, what are the accredited welding programs uh, in Las Vegas? And they'll tell you uh, which ones to go to. And that would probably be a very good first step because then you may get in with the union. Two, how's the job scene and how easy is it to get a job in Vegas? Heard Vegas was the right to work state and has low taxes, no income tax. True on all accounts. It's better than California. It has no state income tax. It's a growing, booming economy compared to the shitberg fuck. Just fuck California. Just fuck it, man. Vegas is the place to be. It's obviously a lot hotter. You don't have an ocean. But there is so much fun shit to do. Um, but but in terms of economics employment, yes. Uh, so, you know, it, it can't, you know, I'm sure there are some segments of California that are growing better than Las Vegas. But by and large, Vegas blows, the entire state of Nevada blows California out of the water. The people, well, I mean, you're going to deal with tourists, but the people there I've dealt with are very cool. They're not bad and shame like the people I've dealt with in California. I mean, you could just tell people from California are fucked in the head. You can either date a couple of them or hang out with them. If I, wow, you're people I don't want to have anything to fucking do with. So Vegas is much better. Uh, three, I figured being in Vegas would be a good place to be close to a lot of decent national parks, such as Zion National Park. As well, as well as other national or state parks. Figured I would have a lot of options for hiking with a few hours drive, as well as places to explore. Dude, fuck hours drive. Like, like 10 minutes out of town, there's uh, Red Rocks Canyon. Uh, up north, there's, um, what is it, Valley of Fire. Uh, you go down by the Hoover Dam. There's a great hike. There's, there is so much within, within 30 minutes of Vegas. Uh, it's great. Uh, but yes, you're absolutely 100% right. Zion's uh, two hours away. Gra uh, National, uh, National uh, Grand Canyon, three, three and a half. 
Um, you, you're Utah, then all of Utah is fucking gorgeous. You absolutely are within some great hiking. Uh, absolutely. Uh, so I would definitely go there. And then if you want to go to California, there's other places as well. Shit, just outside of uh, me and Matt Baldoni tried to hike it. Um, Charleston Peak. There's real mountain ranges, no more than 35, 40 minutes with snow on top of it. Beautiful, beautiful. Yes, absolutely. I mean, I said it before. Vegas would be one of the places I'd consider living. It is that cool of a town, man. Very cool. Four, can you give me some tips on the best paying jobs are in Vegas that I could do? What am I working in a casino or during security if it pays well? Yeah, I mean, I, it depends on what you want. You know, just go indeed.com, search for what you want. Yes, the, the casinos are very large, but if you're willing, mining is huge out there. Your welding degree would not be wasted, or certification would certainly not be wasted. Construction is also very big. A lot of people want to move to um, uh, Vegas. Um, yeah, security, if you're a bigger, stronger guy, yeah, they always need bouncers and, and you know, your casinos are moving money. Uh, so that's Vegas, but don't don't forget the rest of Nevada, which mining, national parks, I mean, it, it's, I forgot what was the other. Mining, tourism, there's something else. Well, government spending, obviously. Uh, but yes, but I, I still think your game plan of getting a welding degree, uh, that would be the place to go. And then certainly talk to the, to the, uh, the union. Uh, so not only would you have construction, but yes, mining is very big in uh, the entire state. So you may not be hanging out in Nevada, but you'd, you'd be going out into the mines out north. How are the gun laws there? Heard you can get any guns you want for cheap. It can have 30-round clips there. Been itching to ditch the bullet bottom on my AK-47 to get 30-round mags as well as other deadly toys. Well, you can't get fully automatic. Those are illegal across the country. But yeah, way better gun laws in California. Way better. Yes, you can, man. You can have 30-round magazines. Um, I'd have to look into other, you know, like, uh, you know, open carry, concealed carry. It, it varies state to state. But last, uh, Nevada has very good, uh, uh, very good gun laws if, if you want to carry or if you, like, enjoy shooting guns and you're, you're a marksman. Um, but yeah, no, dude, it, totally, fuck California, just go to Vegas, just go. I, would, I wouldn't give up on your Walmart thing, though. You're going to need something to live off of. You got your van, so I think you could, you could do rather well. I would put in for a transfer, see what you could find in, in Walmart, call the union, do your research, make sure you find a good welding program, talk to the union guys, find out what they recommend. But me, I've spent cumulatively, I have to have at least spent three months cumulatively in Las Vegas. And, you know, of course, you'll do the strip in the, in the tourism thing. But outside of that, man, there is so much to do in that town. It is such a fun town. It, it is, there's so much around it. Uh, yeah, it is. There's a reason I'm spending a month there this winter. Uh, it, it's a great, great town. So, uh, and then if you do make it out there, let me know. I might have some buddies who can we can hook you up with. So, anyway, best of luck to you. Toodles.